cross-cultural business skills. Expert interviews. Sure. Uh, my name is Vitaly Chacholka, as we say it in Russian. I am 28 years old. I'm, I currently reside in the Republic of Belarus, which is in Eastern Europe. Mm -hmm. I work as a business slash system analyst in one of the software development companies. Uh, we do the outsourcing stuff for the for, uh, mainly for the United States of America. Mm -hmm. I would say it's a modern company. And the reason is that the IT field is uh, booming over here. Mm -hmm. So it, I would say that it's the most up-to-date industry in our country. I would say there are areas of, to improve. But since, uh, you know, in order to be successful on a project, uh, people still have to work together mm -hmm. and, you know, cooperate somehow. Um, unfortunately, not as much attention is paid to, to developing teamwork skills or um, to improve uh, one's team player abilities, mm -hmm. if I can say so. But compared to other places that worked, or in, in, uh, which are, we're not related to IT field, I would say I'm pretty happy with, uh, with the teamwork in my current workplace. So, uh, what I'm trying to say is that, um, there are not as many selfish people. So your coworkers trying to help you Yeah. because, because obviously if you fail, then the whole project will fail. Hey, uh, I would say team, team oriented if there's if there's one, mm -hmm. and uh, I I happen to be a project manager of one of the projects. So what what I try to do is to to bring everybody together and try to keep everybody motivated. So every day I would try to find out how's everybody doing. Mm -hmm. Was there anything that they were concerned about? And just I try to be. Uh, I mean, basically, I tried to create the the most, uh, the, no, the best conditions for them to be successful. Mm -hmm. And uh, once we were done with the project, I, uh, in order, of, in order for me to congratulate them, you know, I treat them with beer, with pizza. So I tried to kind of reward them for their hard work. Yeah, Easy. sure. I mean, I when I. I maybe it's just me, but I uh, I try not to separate professional and personal stuff. So when I approach somebody, yeah, I I always talk to them as if they're my friends. So, so no, I try to uh, I try to be sincere with the person, mm -hmm. and I, and I want the person to be open with me. So and maybe that's the reason why it's easier for me to to click with with anybody. Yeah. And that leads to to solving issues very quickly. Uh, like you mentioned before, I would say authoritative would be mm -hmm, the most mm -hmm. common one. And oh, it's a pity, to be quite mm -hmm. honest, because uh, I feel like we are stuck 20 or 30 years in the past. Yeah. So that whole era when you have a boss and he's in charge of everything mm -hmm. is still still, still like in, that in, in majority of the places this is something that i uh, huge supporter of mm -hmm. uh, well maybe again it's just me but i'm a person who strongly believes that uh, once once the proper feedback is given, mm -hmm. it can motivate a person uh, extremely well. 
So I'm being very annoying to my resource managers because I constantly request what my feedback is, yeah. what my performance review. Because to me, it's very important because I want to know what what is it that I'm doing wrong or what is it that I'm doing right. Yeah, true. And on the other hand, I I also write the reviews of my coworkers, but I try to make it as constructive as possible. Mm -hmm. I mean, the way I was taught in the States, this is something that I actually took from my North American experience. So when I write a review, I try to point out things that are going on very well with the person, what they're doing well, and then things that have to, they have to work on or to improve. Mm -hmm. We thank you for listening and welcome your feedback and suggestions. If you enjoyed this recording, be sure to keep watching www.minorccbs.com or the CCBS Facebook site for our latest material. The contents of this recording are protected by copyright laws of the Netherlands or other countries throughout the world.